Hey folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. and welcome to an inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. Today, as you're seeing there, we have Cross Violet. Cross Violet is actually a really surprising ink for me. I wasn't expecting to like it nearly as much as I do. But uh, here's the sample violet comes in. This is uh, from Anderson Pins. Thanks very much to Brian and Lisa for uh, continuing to support my ink habit and uh, ink on the blog. So that's pretty awesome of them. Give them your patronage. Uh, if you haven't already, they're awesome. Uh, this is, uh, I, I don't usually do purple inks with much vigor or expectation, but I wanted to try these new cross inks, and when I smeared them, this is the one that really stood out. The green and the red look a little pale. I haven't reviewed them yet. Uh, I need to put them in pens, but um, the, the blue and the black are totally competent, and this purple is a standout. This is violet is great. So here it is in a smear. This is what that smear that you saw put down actually dries as, which is just kind of, kind of awesome looking, really. I mean, it's just... It's so uh, it's so consistent. There's a little bit of feathering, not feathering, shading out here uh, at the very edges, but when you write with it, you're not really gonna see that. Now you might see some purple uh, with a rather not purple, goodness, but light green sheen uh, around the edges. I don't see any here on the smear, oddly enough, but I do see some here. I don't know if the camera can really pick that up in this light. I don't know if I really have enough light for it, but it's very slight, it looks, Makes the, the text look slightly uh, you know discolored because it's got a lot of sheen in a very small-ish area. I was using this only in one pen. I haven't put in anything else just because I've been really happy with it in this pen. This is one that I reviewed just a little while ago. This is a pen by Ryan Krusek that doesn't actually have a name yet, uh, but it's this cool hourglass-shaped pen and it's a, a medium nib. It's a fairly small-ish medium, uh, but uh, writes great and this ink is lovely in it. Uh, so, close that back up. There we go. All right, so as I said, there's not really any problems with it on uh, uh, performance-wise on like 20 pound paper. Here is the writing sample on the 20 pound paper. And you can probably see a couple of little feathers here and there, like you know, this E and the L next to it are just a little bit feathery, maybe a little bit here on the C, but really not much. This pen isn't particularly wet and this ink isn't particularly wet either. It's kind of like, I don't know, medium, maybe medium wet if I'm being real generous, but uh, it tends to start up just fine. I haven't had any problems with that being in that pen, and it's been in that pen forever. Uh, so, you know, well, forever? Uh, months, anyway. Months I've been using it off and on, but I just really like the look of it, and this might be the like, second purple ink I buy a bottle of. I got a bottle of the, the Lamy um, uh, Dark Lilac as well, and you might think of this a little bit like Dark Lilac, but without... Um, it does, it's, not, it's not as dark and it's not as uh, covered in sheen. Dark Lilac tends to go overboard on sheen, I think. I, I think some people are like, oh, the sheen is the best. And I like the sheen a lot too, but also some people hate sheen. They just want a simple ink uh, that is not doing crazy stuff on their paper. And this might be the ticket for them. Plus, it's just a, a lovely violet color. I really like it. It's a bit darker than the violets that I actually grow, but uh, still very cool. All right. Oh, I didn't show the back of the paper. This is the back of the 20 pound bond. Uh, and this is the line where you have that here. But and you see a couple little dots maybe show through or uh, bleed through, just a couple. But also it's pretty thin. You can actually read the, the rodeo sample beneath it. So this is really just ghosting mostly. Uh, it behaves very well, very well on 20 pound paper. So if you're gonna use it for, uh, I don't know, writing your average letter on your average, you know, Staples 20 pound stuff, or if you're gonna use it for, uh, I don't know, grading papers or something. Sometimes I grade papers with this ink because I like it a lot. Uh, anyway, it's uh, totally useful for that. So there you go, that's that. Um, here are some color comparisons here, and I think the closest, probably the closest really is Dark Lilac, and this is actually just dipped. I dipped my Gist pen uh, just to give a, you know, a writing sample. I didn't have a converter sitting around for it. So uh, it was actually very, very dark here, and so I smeared it a bit so you can see more of the color. And it is kind of close, although Dark Lilac is way darker and wetter than uh, Cross Violet. So if you're looking for a good purple, I oh mean, Cross Violet's very cool. Um, and then underneath that, uh, this is a very new Sailor ink. It just came out like uh, last Thursday. It hit stores Wednesday and Thursday. It started hitting your online retailers, that kind of stuff. But this is Sailor uh, Fuji Masume, and uh, it is a pretty beautiful purple. But I think it's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit too pale for my general use. I like the the the, uh, the saturation on Cross Violet a little bit more. Uh, Franklin Christoph Tenebris Purpuratum which is uh, you know, just dark purple and midnight purple, is a pretty cool purple as well. Uh, this is a very fine nib that this one's in, so let me give you a, let's see, where is that pen? Ah, 
That's in my wife's uh, sailor here that I stole from her. Uh, I can give another little writing sample there. A little scribble. There we go. Um, anyway, it's uh, it tends to, to lighten up a little bit as you go, or maybe just, you know, this is just very, uh, the sailor's a little bit dry, or on the dry side. Anyway, um, so you go that, and then a couple of other things, a blue and a aquamarine. I'm never sure what to, what to compare aquamarine to. It's, it's kind of an interesting color. All right, so let's take a look at the water drop test. There we go. All right, where's my water? Here it is. All right, give this a nice sploosh. There we go. That'll do it. You can see some of it already coming away, so that's not a super good sign with regard to water resistance, but also I don't really expect any water resistance out of this ink. I don't think it's touted as having any. Maybe it's supposed to, but I don't know. I haven't heard of any. And if it is, uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it has much. A lot of it came up here, very pinky sort of uh, color that came up. Uh, and I guess you could say, if you're being generous, this has a little bit of water resistance because you still can read most of it, but I don't really think so. Just keep your, uh, keep your water away from this one. It's not doing too well in terms of water resistance. All right, let's take a look at the chromatography right quick. And there you go, as you can see, it's, uh, it's kind of a slow mover. Not much movement on this one when I did it. And here is the finished strip. You can see, interestingly, there's a little bit of sheen up here at the top. It's kind of like a, I don't know, matte black or matte, like a very dark, dark green sheen. It kind of reminds me of um, uh, Sailor Kiwagura. Kiwaguro. Uh, down here, of course, where it started, not a whole heck of a lot left. So I'm not super surprised uh, by how little there is left here. Uh, on this, it's kind of the same thing. You get a little bit of that left. And most of the real dark purples went up here along with some of that sheeny stuff. There you go, that's, uh, that is the, uh, the chromatography for that one. Let's take a look real quick at uh, sample on Tomoe River. Uh, I just, I was looking through my ink journals and it looks like I never actually recorded this one. So I just did this one just in a few minutes ago and you can see a little bit of sheen here. If I can catch the right light, it's always a little bit difficult because I get a little bit of glare on my phone screen. Anyway, so there you go, this is, uh, this is what it looks like in that, uh, on that um, Tomoe River. Definitely sheenier than it is elsewhere. Just kind of interesting. I, I like it on here, but I think it actually looks a little bit better here, if I'm honest. I'm a big fan of how it looks on Rhodia, so that's cool. Uh, let me see, what else do I have in here as far as purples? I think I have several. Ah, uh, this is one that I, I couldn't find uh, right off the top of my head. I don't know where that pen has gone. Uh, but this is one that I just keep re-inking with this ink. I, I took it as a, a sample from somebody in the, um, uh, the Triangle Pen Club, and I tell you what, this site's Kruznak. Kruz, uh, Kruznak. Uh, dark Orchid is really cool. It's not dark at all, but it is orchidy, and I think it looks pretty cool. It's, it's a nice juxtaposition alongside this one. I think both are really nice, but this one's definitely lighter. This site's Cruise Knock. Uh, any other purples, purples in here? Nah, not really. That's kind of it. Anyway, so there you go. This has been Cross Violet. Let me get this down there where you can see it. Oh, yeah, I can zoom in and zoom out a little bit. There we go. All right, cool. This is Cross Violet. I am Mike. This is inkdependence.com. Please go over to the blog at www.inkdependence.com uh, to see more pictures and that sort of thing. All manner of things about uh, this ink and lots and lots and lots of others. Uh, also, if you uh, don't mind, hit the subscribe button and, uh, you know, let people know about this. It helps it come up in rankings and, you know, all that kind of YouTube nonsense. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, I don't do ads, but uh, I do have a Patreon, so check that out if you like. All right, so that's it. Uh, thanks very much to Brian and Lisa at Anderson Pins for funding, funding? Well, kind of, funding it with ink uh, for this review. And uh, that's that. I will see y'all later. Peace out.